Hey, what's up, guys? iPod Touch Helm here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys an easy way to customize your keyboard on your iPod Touch or iPhone, and uh, this is not going to be using iAccess or anything like that. So, this is paid, guys, but there is also an alternative if you guys want to do this for free. Alright, so the free version uh, basically you only get one option, and it's a black keyboard. But if you pay the two bucks, you get a couple other colors, and uh, I'm can guarantee in the future they're going to be adding a lot more colors and stuff like that so the two dollars will probably get you more than uh, what you originally paid for but uh, if we go to my keyboard right now as you guys can tell I've got sort of a cool transparent and black keyboard going on right there and uh, it's kind of cool if you guys want to get that though you guys just simply go into Cydia and you search for color keyboard and you guys are going to want to simply install that if you guys want the free black keyboard, just go into Cydia and search black keyboard. All right, so it's as easy as that. You just search it in Cydia, that logo right there, and you guys are just going to install it on your iDevice. And once it's installed, you're going to respring or reboot, and you're going to be pretty much set to go. So I'll quickly show you guys first how you can choose your theme. You go into settings and you click color keyboard. You click select themes and you pick whatever you ones you want. So there's not very many themes as of right now because this was just recently released. But in the future there should be much more. So if I wanted to download pink or something like that, I just check it off and I could click save and respring. You can mix and match these themes which uh, makes it kind of cool. And let's say you want something in this theme more important than something in that theme, you just put it above just like that. All right, so it's as easy as that. And then you click Save and Respring. But now I'll just show you guys basically the ones that I've tested out and the ones that I like the most. So we'll go into Photos here. And um, there we go. Here's just the plain and simple rounded corners one. This is the transparent one with the white keypad. And this is a mixture of the rounded corner theme and the pink keyboard theme. And this one right here, this is actually the background image one and uh, it's kind of cool with the rounded keypad as well and last but not least we've got the one I'm using right now which is the transparent background with the black keyboard so I mixed two different themes in one in this one so I thought this was a pretty cool theme and I'll show you guys how it works here really simple you guys just click return then you can just type in whatever but if you go like this you'll notice that the keyboard actually does turn black when you go into your numbers and stuff like that. So I'm not sure if that's sort of a glitch or what because I'm sure they didn't do that on purpose. But um, that's pretty much it. Um, you can just type in whatever and that's kind of weird that what I just spelt. Anyways, um, this is random. And uh, yeah, I thought it was a pretty cool thing that you guys want to go get. I decided, you know, why not try to find a free version as well because I know you guys don't like paying for it. But Go download one of those two things, and uh, hopefully you guys did like this video. This was iPod Touch helping. Please thumbs this video up. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, and share this video on your Twitter or Facebook or whatever. That'd be really cool. Uh, I got Twitter. If you guys want to follow me, my Twitter name is iTouchHelping. Visit my last video here and my other channels right here. You can just click those links. Anyways, guys, all the links in the video description down below. This was iPod Touch helping. Catch you guys later. Peace.